Hi everyone, in this video we're gonna create a back to top button that is oftentimes used on websites to take you, well, back to the beginning of the website to scroll up. Before we do that though, we first need something that can be scrolled. So the first step in this process is to create a fictional hypothetical website that is, let's say, that can be scrolled through and then we're gonna create the actual button. So very quickly, I'm just gonna take a frame 1400 by 4000, right? And this frame is gonna be called website. Actually, we're gonna have to use a rectangle to create, to fill this whole frame with some content and then take this frame and decrease the size. And we're gonna uncheck clip content so that we can see that this page in fact continues beyond, beyond this frame, right? So we have a frame that's 1400 by 800, that's this frame. And inside of this frame, you have a rectangle that is way taller than the actual frame. Now, that means that when we go to prototype and go to overflow scrolling and select vertical scrolling, we will be able to scroll through this fictional website. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about scrolling, check the video on the screen right now in the top right corner. Our fictional website is gonna have a fictional header area. This header area will be white or actually dark gray and the rectangle is gonna be almost black. So that's our dark theme website, right? Um, we're gonna have some kind of title. So let's say headline, website, headline, right? Quite large. And there's gonna be some kind of website subheadline, or I'm Ipsum Dolor. And that's gonna be 20 pixels, demi bold. And then we're gonna have some placeholder button. It's gonna be like green so that you can see see it nicely against the background, you know, something contrasting like this, all right? So that's our placeholder. You can pretend that this is an actual website for a while. And then we're gonna just add some sections, you know, so that when we scroll, we can see that we are actually scrolling. There's gonna be one, there's gonna be one as well, right? There's gonna be, there's gonna be an image here, an image here, another one here, and then also here, right? So you have this, this is our fictional website. Right now, when we launch the prototype, this is what you get, right? So you get something you can scroll through. You have the header and the website. All right, and now let's create the actual scroll to top button. We're gonna take some text and say scroll to top. It's gonna be heavy, heavy font. We're gonna create very quickly an arrow. Like this. Right, so that's our little arrow right here. We're gonna take this thing, with both of these, Shift A to add auto layout. We're gonna name this back to top button. We're gonna add some padding. We're gonna add a fill, a white fill actually. And then we're gonna select these elements and change the fill and the stroke to black so that it's visible. Right, this is our button. This is our back to top button. We're gonna cut that and paste it here inside the website, aligned to the bottom right. We're gonna very quickly just add a shadow. Shadow is gonna be white and quite blurry. So here's what you get now when you launch the prototype. You get a website, it can be scrolled through. However, this scroll to top button should not be moving away. That defeats the whole point of this button. So we're gonna just go here, go to prototype, select this button, and actually to design and select this button, and then go to constraints and say fix position when scrolling. We're gonna check that. Right now, when we scroll, it stays in the same place. However, does it really make sense that there is a scroll to top button visible when you're at the very top? No, it doesn't. So how do we, how do we go about you know, showing the button only when you're, for example, down here? We would have to duplicate, duplicate this website, hide this button on the first one. So I'm gonna set the opacity to zero and then go here and, and create another rectangle with the same color as the background that will be positioned right here, all right? Now we're gonna go to prototype. Actually, we're gonna have to copy this and paste that here, right? 
move that to the background. So you have in this area on both of these website frames, you have this rectangle number 10, right? Um, we're gonna say that in prototype, we're gonna select this little circle and connect that to the second frame. And we're gonna say mouse enter. When the mouse enters this area, you navigate to this second website frame, right? To make it easier, we're gonna name this website two. So right now we can see mouse enter, navigate to website two. We're also gonna make sure that we preserve the scroll position so that when you actually, the mouse enters this area, we don't return back here, but we stay here on this, uh, in this part of the website. We're gonna also select smart animate. So what should theoretically happen now is that as soon as the mouse enters this area, we're gonna move on towards this frame where this button is visible. And since it has the fixed position when scrolling selected, it should be in the top right corner, uh, in the, sorry, in the bottom right corner at all times. Now let's actually try if, if that works, right? So launch the prototype. So no back to top button visible. We scroll down. And as soon as the mouse enters this area, we get this scroll to top button, right? So now it's present. And how to actually create the functionality now? Again, we're gonna select this button when it's actually visible, go to prototype, select this circle again, and click and drag to connect it into this area, this header area. And we're gonna say on click, scroll to rectangle two. And it's gonna be animate, ease in and out, 500 milliseconds. Let's test this prototype again. We land it on the website, we are scrolling down, we are way down and a scroll to top button appears. We click it and it takes us back to the initial position. We could take this one step further and say, when the mouse enters this area again, we return back to this state, which would mean again, duplicating this rectangle, moving it into the background and sampling the color from here, selecting it, prototype, Boom, and say mouse enter, navigate to website, preserve scroll position and smart animate. Let's try that again, right? So we are on, on first, very first uh, state. We scroll down, button appears, we click it, and then we enter this area again and it disappears. And we can repeat the process many times over. It works each time and we've created a loop that can be interacted with as many times as we need. So this is how you create a scroll to top button in Figma. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you're looking to learn the very basics of Figma, definitely check out my playlist where I go over the basics of Figma. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this video has been useful to you and I will see you in the next one.